this video, I'm going to demonstrate Gemini versus Claude. I'm going to get them to perform five useful productivity tasks and see how they stack up against each other. Let's get into it. So in round one, the task is to summarize and provide insights on Meta's latest results for the second quarter of 2024. So I've put in the prompt here, summarize and provide insights with the link to the press release for the results from uh, Meta. And just going to fire that off in Gemini and going to do the same for Claude. So going to fire that off there. And Gemini has started on the, on the job. In fact, it's uh, finished the job, uh, but we have a slight issue with Claude in that it can't access links on the internet. So it can't provide direct access to web-based content. So the workaround here is to copy in the results from the page. So I'm just going to copy in those uh, results as it suggests there and fire that off. And then hopefully it'll provide a summary with some insights as well, which indeed it has done under appropriate uh, headings and uh, it's still doing that. So so done that actually slightly more uh, detail coming in from Claude there. But Gemini, that's a big advantage, the fact that it has access to the internet and I don't have to bother with the uh, copy and paste. So going to award the first round to Gemini. So it's Gemini 1, Claude 0. So for round two, we're going to look at creating a blog post based on some slides I'm going to use in a webinar on an introductory session for AI that I'm going to be running in a webinar on the 14th of August, all about being more productive using AI. So if you're watching this before the 14th of August, do uh, register for this free webinar that I'm running on behalf of NILC. So Back to this uh, round two. So there's a slight difference here in methodology because for Gemini, we're going to try, now this might not work, but we're going to try and use a link to the PDF that I have on my SharePoint. Now, I'm unable to upload a file to Gemini, so that's why we're doing it that way. You can see that certainly on the free version, I can upload an image, but I'm not able to upload a, a file such as a PDF, whereas on Claude, I can upload a PDF, which uh, I've done. You can see that uh, see that here. So let's fire off uh, Claude and see what happens there. And going to fire off Gemini. So Claude has confirmed that it's up to the task. And what it's doing is using this new artifacts feature, which is kind of like a, a separate part of Claude. So it's opened up a, a separate page. It's writing the blog post and it has just uh, finished that, finishing with a nice little uh, question there. Now, I do like this uh, artifacts approach because it makes it easy for you to copy the blog post, the results that appear in the artifact, or you can even save them down or you can publish them there. So uh, all of that is uh, quite uh, quite handy. Uh, so if I uh, go back a step, you'll see that uh, it's actually produced the, the blog post in the um, chat controls, as it's uh, called there. Meanwhile, Gemini has struggled a little bit. So although, although this link is actually fully editable, it is public. Gemini has said that, I'm sorry, I'm not able to access the website you provided. So, um, yeah, there's no paywall here. It's uh, completely uh, accessible. It's even a, a, a link where the document can be edited. So um, definitely a win for Claude. I like the fact that you can upload a, a PDF. And I also like this artifacts approach where the content that you've asked for is generated separately. So a win for Claude. So after round two, we are now even Stevens. So it's Gemini one, Claude one. For round three, we're going to see how Gemini and Claude get on with resolving a recent technical issue I had with synchronizing my Outlook work email address with my Samsung phone. So the prompt is, I'm having problems syncing my Outlook work email with the Samsung phone contacts app. 
When I attempt to add my email account, the following message is displayed. You can't sign in here with a work or school account. Use your personal account instead. Can you help me fix this issue? So let's fire that off over on Gemini, fire that off for Claude. And we see that Gemini has understood the issue by summarizing it there and provided some alternative approaches that direct syncing might not be possible. What it actually is, and that is the answer there. So I did resolve my uh, issue and uh, that is the correct answer. So it goes on with some more sort of workaround -y type uh, solutions there. Uh, yeah, sensible, I guess, contact support, but fundamentally the answer is in point one. So that's all I need. Uh, job done there by uh, Gemini. So let's see how Claude got on. So talking about updating the Samsung contacts app. Um, well, using the Outlook app again, it's like a workaround, not really a solution because I can't make phone calls from uh, Outlook or certainly not easily. Uh, adding accounts to settings, no. Checking with IT department, no. IMAP, no. Clear updated, no. So it hasn't actually provided the correct solution. So a clear win for Gemini there. So after three rounds, the current score is Gemini 2, Claude 1. So in round four, we're going to be asking each AI tool for some tips on making the best use of Teams and Zoom for hosting video calls. So let's fire off the prompt over on Gemini, fire off the prompt on Claude, and we've got a heading here straight away on Gemini. And interestingly, they are looking at uh, before the call and providing some preparation, which I didn't specifically uh, ask for. So I quite like that approach. During the call, we've got some advice there and it looks like some pretty good, uh, good tips, technical tips as well, breaking it up between Teams and Zoom, plus some general tips which apply to both additional considerations. So yeah, I do uh, like all of that. And it's asking me, me if I want any specific advice on any of those points and some really helpful links off to further websites for more information, as we can see at the bottom there. So let's see how Claude got on. So we've got some tips here, just sort of numbered uh, one right through to 11. Don't really like the layout so much here. We've just got a numbered list rather than categorized, which is the approach that uh, that Gemini had over here. Much uh, much neater, I feel there. Uh, the advice here is uh, is not too bad, but not as detailed as the advice that Gemini has provided. And also, though, we have a question at the end asking if I need any elaboration on uh, any of those points. But in terms of detail and also, the fact that Gemini has given me some handy follow-up links to websites here, and uh, quite a few as uh, as well, which is useful. Uh, definitely going to give this one to Gemini. So after round four, the current score is Gemini 3, Claude 1. So we're into the final round with the score, Gemini 3. Claude won. So let's see how these AI tools get on in this final round where we're going to ask each of them to create an Instagram caption for a photo which I am going to attach to the prompt. So the prompt states create an Instagram caption for the attached photo promoting my social media training. So let's fire that off on Gemini, fire that off on Claude and see how each of them get on. So uh, Gemini has said, I'm unable to process images that contain people, but it has worked on the image a little bit and given it a go. Uh, it's picked up the word content curation from the photo and talking about creating engaging posts. And it is actually promoting my social media training and it's added some suitable hashtags there and uh, an emoji. So um, yeah, although it's kind of started off in a negative way saying it's not able to process the image that contained people, it's actually done the job. 
Let's see how Claude has got on. So again, it's picked up the fact that content is mentioned on the slide there, talked about social media training and a little bit more detail in the post here that has been created uh, nice use of uh, emojis and it's actually summed up why and how it's created the post as well which is a little bit of extra detail that uh, gemini hasn't included so final round going to give this one to claude so the end of this five round battle it's still a win for gemini but the final score is gemini three Claude 2.